Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. if I go first. Then will you get your Argelian flu shot? Uh, okay. Great idea, Captain. A little late, but hey, what's a few broken bones? We will take over the helm, Captain. This vaccinator is relatively painless, Captain. Captain, did you know a vaccine is made up of dead virus cells? I didn't get a lollipop. These cells help the body guard against other viruses. In that way, the immune system is... Uh... Ow! Yo, Cap, I got something weird coming over to Marconi. Fan mail from some flounder? Patch it through to the vid screen, Spider. It can't be. Telegram from some tuna? Captain, you recognize this... jumble? It's a coded message. From NASA. A memo from some macro? From Earth? Can you decipher it, Captain? Negative. All I can make out is that the control code used on my Gemini capsule, the one NASA sent me up in. If only I had the decoder. But it was destroyed with the planet of the... The, the who? who? Finally, a message from home, and I'll never know what it says. I hate to contradict a superior officer, Captain. But it ain't necessarily so. Employing the theory of curved space, Pythagorean principles, and a heap and help and a dumb luck, I've determined that your capsule may have survived eradication and proceeded here. For a hoedown in the XJ-12 galaxy. Hey! What? Hello? <laughs> That is some bad monkey-loving galaxy. It's like one of those record clubs. You can get in, but you can't get out. Hmm. So much for that. No ape in his right mind would go on a wild goose chase like that. What does your heart tell you to do? Man your stations, crew. We're heading for the XJ-12 galaxy. I got a letter from home. by an anti-magnetic anomaly, Captain. Hang on to your spare chain. I had a dream like this once. Or was it a nightmare? It's pushing us away. How long before we're out of its influence, Doctor? Hooey! You ain't gonna like this, booger. Anti-magnetic anomaly is propelling us directly into the influence of a massive magnetic anomaly. Ah! Oh, no a More power, Slippy. Hang on, crew. We're gonna try to blast free. I ain't going nowhere, Jack. My finger, it has stopped bleeding by itself. All efforts are ineffectual, Captain. The twin anomalies have disabled our electronics. We're heading straight down its throat. Great for impact. Hey, a 
I'm loose, but I still got my change. What happened? We are in an inactive zone surrounded by magnetic waves, much like the eye of a hurricane. Hey, what's with the metal bowling ball? He's making sense. Hmm. The concurrent magnetic waves surrounding us have somewhat corrected his errant circuitry. Yes, but can we depend on him? Of course you can. That's why I and the other ducks will fly north this summer. Well, depend is an awful strong word. Now let's find out where we are and how to get somewhere else. Captain, as our instruments are now unreliable, I've deployed a hollow boom to test the atmosphere of this, for lack of a more appropriate terminology, world. What's the deal with this airlock? There's no lock, and there's no... Check. It's a vacuum thing. Splitsy, deploy the Atmatron. He's young, Bubba. How much time do we have, Doc? The Atmatron gives us 60 minutes of air within the coordinates, Captain. Check. Crew, reconnoiter and report anything that could help get us airborne. Look, Spider, I had a paper cut on my finger and my body healed it all by itself. Yeah, yeah, the body's an amazing thing. It heals, it hurts, it hurts, it heals. Bingo! I'm in swap meat heaven. Such a desolate, lifeless place. Nothing but cold metal. The magnetic anomaly has attracted every particle of metallic space debris passing this sector. This here's a cotton pick and toast to graveyard. A colorful colloquialism. It's so very appropriate. <laughs> Strangely soothing. In a way, it is good. No life means no hostile entities. Want to knock on wood or something? You're not a routine. Help! Safety, etc. Let go of fire! The stunners have no effect. Let us follow the example of Gore and engage the enemy in honorable hand-to-hand -hand combat. Pretty direct, Goddess. Whatever happened to let's reason with them? One may reason with living beings. These are just mindless machines. Check. And they've got cousins. Space monkeys. Flip out. <laughs> What the monkey-loving heck is this? We are Matrix. We are running the program. Check. Matrix. I'm Simeon, captain of the Primate Avenger. Who's in control here? We are in control. We can control the vertical. <laughs> we can control the horizontal. <laughs> we control all. Continue program Z21. Deconstruct and assimilate. What does it mean, deconstruct and assimilate? It means trouble. Gore, try to break free. Free Shaolin first. Program disruption to level one, subgroup 2X. Redirecting all prime functions. The Mary T. Yaw to you too, my dear. Gore, get Spider. Guard the rear. Over the top, crew. Shaolin, take the lead. So much for guarding the rear. Oh, we gotta take care of these jokers ASAP. This 
one is no trouble. It has lost its weapon. This one is no trouble, Gaddis? Sarcasm has no place in battle, Captain. Effect sanctuary within. I don't know what that means, but skedaddle on in here, pronto. Okay, crew, I want feedback. What is this place? How do we free Spider and Gore? And how do we leave? Captain, having been linked to Matrix, I believe I can shed some light on our dilemma. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm not used to you making sense. Go ahead, Orbitron. Apology accepted. Later we can all attend the hula dance. It all started about 1,000 years ago. Matrix was an automated salvage vehicle from an alien world in this quadrant. Deconstructing and assimilating abandoned space vehicles. Like ourselves, Matrix became the victim of the twin anomalies. Although damaged and somewhat affected by the magnetic anomaly, much like yours truly, Matrix joined with other alien computers and continued deconstructing and assimilating anything that was magnetically drawn to it. Check. Just doing what it's programmed to do. Unfortunately, it does not appear to know the difference between metal and monkeys. Eureka and Rapture! There is a solution to our magnetic dilemma. We gotta feed this puppy. An electronic magnetic enhancement will cause the anomalies to merge, allowing us a moment of escape. Check. Then the anomalies will cancel each other. But only for a flea's wink. We gotta be ready to skedaddle. Check. Splitsley handles the anomalies. What about Spider and Gore? I am ready to kick Cyber Butt, Captain. You monkey-loving mix, master. You can't assimilate us. We ain't machines. See? We got bodies, yeah! We're alive! Input data on terms alive and body. What are characteristics? Well, uh, our bodies can heal themselves. It is called regeneration of cells. We, c we can also... Regeneration? Yes. We must have more data. Hey, what you doing to my man? We are downloading this program. We are receiving new data. We are receiving megabytes. We, I, under, understand. Employing anti-magnetic plastic emulsion. Covered in you. Let's get in. We've got ten minutes. Don't waste it. Understand the principle of economy of movement. Yeah. Yeah. Deadly into the point, Shaolin. It cannot be dead, Captain, for it was never alive. Wait, is it? Can't be. My capsule. Keep it busy, Goddess. Our taxi's here. Computer on. Servos on. Rerouting automatic systems to manual control. I'm taking command. Going my way, beautiful. Boy, you still in there, my man? Because the argument is quite complex. So much to understand, we, I am reassigning memory, I must learn everything, I must emulate, I must become alive, exhilarating. Yeah, I'm real flippin' happy for you, Matrix. There is an equation to a life. I am computing, I am nearing the solution. Who dares to interrupt my download? We can do this the easy way or the hard way, mister. Release my crew now. No. I require them. I am becoming alive. Okay, the hard way. Shaolin, blast this sucker. I cannot, Captain. It is no longer merely a machine. It is becoming alive. But it's... it's evil. 
within it is redeemable. I will not destroy it. Your heart is good, Shaolin, but your timing stinks. This ain't good. Hey, Gorf, you still in there, big boy? I gotta tell you, that paper cut on your finger, it could get infected. You better get a Biloxian tetanus shot. Too bad, too, because Split has got to use a needle. Three feet long. I don't want a shot! <laughs> that message. Cheer up, Shaolin. It's him or us. I take no joy in the loss of a new life form, Captain. Then smile, little lady, because it's still kicking. According to these scans, Matrix survived the collision of the anomalies and continues to evolve, reconfiguring to some new quasi-life form. Whatever it's gonna be, I don't want to be there. Fear not. The complete transformation will take at least 20 centuries. Splendid! Then I have time for my dance lessons. One, two, jump, 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 three, four. Gotta get that thing fixed. Again. Bingo! Decoding complete. These are course changes. Old course changes that never made it to my space capsule. If the capsule had received this, I never would have broken out of orbit. None of this would have ever happened. We'd still be just... monkeys. I'm glad you never got the message, Captain. Oh, so I am I. Get out, Hand Alski. Five, six, jump, jump, jump. And now. 